Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jay, here with another video. And today, as requested multiple times, we have Rex Meta Mysteries up here. And Rex has been an absolute menace for the past few updates. So, you know, expect to see a few Rexes around, but I'm here to tell you guys what the best Rex skin is. Anyways, on to the video. All right, guys, and first up we have regular base T-Rex, you know, model by Blame, still looks pretty solid versus DA Rex. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys will think will win. I've heard a lot of good things about DA Rex, but let's see if we can go all the way to the end. I'm worried this is gonna like be a shorter battle. All right, so on base range, DA Rex wins. All right, here, let me move up until I can bite you. Okay, so it's only like a step. It's only like one step between all right, guys, and on to side boxing. Oh, all right, I'll back up a little bit. Oh, you hit me. All right, so you hit me from here. So we're gonna go up just a little bit more. Okay, so it's only by it's only by like one step. It's so it's it's pretty it's pretty minimal. Uh but you know when it comes to battles when you're playing, it's gonna make a difference every so often. Like you're gonna notice it every so often. So Base Rex goes in the garbage. Alright guys, and next up is False Tyrannosaurus Rex. And for all you guys who are following through the list, uh my scarred Rex is not being nice to me today uh, and keeps falling through the planet so as far as i'm concerned uh if you're falling through the planet during pvp you're not gonna win uh but anyways on to the ranging all right Let's see so that's about 28 meters all right Oof. Yikes. Is it really this bad of range? If it's really this bad of range, I would just not... Oh. Yeah, no, guys. Uh, yikes. That's really bad. Do not use fossil. Alright, sideboxing now. We'll see about we'll see about side boxing. This is not this is not looking good for Fossil Rex for anyone who likes Fossil Rex. Yikes! All right, we're gonna go until I can bite. Oh no! Oh no! I like from this distance. Like if I wasn't looking from the top view, I think I was touching him by now. That. That is insane. That is horrible. That's like five whole steps. Uh, do not use fossil. Fossil will get you clapped. You will, you will, you will die. You will lose. Do not use fossil. Whatever you do. Uh, let me know what you guys think uh, is gonna happen to GFR. All right, guys. And next up, we have uh, I guess what would this be like a Hedgehog Rex or something? Uh, Dominator. I gotta be honest with you guys. I'm not a huge fan of Dominator. I I understand like. It's whole like thing with DS, but I don't know. I've never been a fan of it. Uh, but versus DA Rex, we'll see. We'll see if a if DS will, Classic will beat a a DA Classic. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected. That's oof. That's kind of sad. All right. Oh no. That, and that was a big step. So that's like that's probably like three steps right there. Not insane, but not as bad as Fossil. But that that would, that's still not great. Um, and this fat guy's probably not going to do too well at side boxing. He might actually do okay. He's it's just got a really short head, so that might be able to save it. Nope, that didn't save it. All right, it's probably only going to be like one step. Okay, two steps. All right, three steps. Four steps. Five steps. 
five steps. Yikes. There's a five step difference in a range between these guys. So for all you Dominator lovers out there, um, don't use it. Uh, unless you were completely confident and just face tanking the hell out of everything. Uh, but anyways, on to the next one. Now don't let this guy's small stature fool you. This thing, I'm going to tell you guys right now, without even doing the test, has bad range. I can almost assure you. But, for all you guys who don't know, this thing, I believe, can still be picked up by Megavore. So it has an alternative purpose if you know how to use it properly. Uh, but anyways, let's see, how, let's see how this goes. Yeah, yeah, that was, yep, okay. Let me actually move back. Let me see, alright, try and bite me from here. Dang, okay. Alright, bite me again. Alright, bite me. Okay, so that's all the way at like 21 meters or so. Alright, I'm just gonna go see until I can bite you, which is, this is gonna be really scary in a second how horrible this is. It's like, yeah. Yikes. Alright, try to grab me real quick. Just, just try to pick me up. Yep, yep. So, uh, uh, you can egg glitch with this guy, with most things, uh, but you gotta make sure you're right there if you're gonna be doing it. So. But anyways, on to side boxing. Alright, and I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say that this, this, this side boxing is not gonna go very well. Yeah, I was right. All right, let's see how let's see how long this takes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my steps with a lot of a lot of okay. So about right here, uh, except for I got bit all the way right here. So if you're running around as Rex by yourself, do not play as plush Rex. If you got like some Rexes on your team or have like a Megavore on your team, then you can run plush Rex. But if you're gonna be egg glitching with something at that point, I feel like egg glitching with like a a uh, uh, plush Sorp, Sorp Poseidon would do you better. Anyways, on to the next one. Alright, next up, another certified classic um, that needs to be replaced. Um, I always requested for Behemoth Rex, uh, the the Mayhem Rex thing, or Mayhem Behemoth, from Yuji's other game, Monster Madness. Um, or just something completely different. I've seen some models of like fan models of Mayhems. I just think Mayhem could be such an awesome concept. Maybe during like this upcoming Halloween, maybe we can get some remodels of Mayhems. That would be definitely uh, advantageous. Uh, but anyways, let me know what you guys think will win. Uh, if this old relic will actually stand a chance. It is so much taller than base rec. Ooh, okay, well, all right, we're going to move until... I can hit you. It's about 27 meters. Yikes. Okay, well, it's actually not that bad. So it's only like a step in difference. Alright, now side boxing. Something tells me this isn't going to go well. Oh, all right. So about 26 meters. All right, and we're gonna move up. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. All right, that was like three steps. So yeah, don't use Mayhem Rex. I never see anybody use this. Anyways, I don't think I haven't seen this model since like 2020, like three maybe. Like it's been probably years since I've seen this model. Anyways, on to the next one. Alright, for anybody who played around 2018, 2019 during 500 Rex damage, this face, whilst to the untrained eye, is just a little nice cake Rex, little cute guy. To us veterans from those ages, this strikes fear into us. This is this is evil incarnate right here. The egg glitch on this thing back in 2019 was insane but anyways let's see if this old king of a relic can actually face against the a-rex 
I honestly wouldn't mind Frosted being good again, but not not that good. Never that good again. My AB shivers in fear of Frosted Rexes. My Megavore shivers in fear. Uh, okay, so you bit me from there. So we're gonna... Okay, yeah, it's only like one step. Alright, on to side boxing. We'll see if this guy can make it up for here. Alright, close. Yep, I had I had a feeling it was coming. Alright, so that's about 26 so i think it's only gonna be like one more step yep okay so just one step in difference on both base range and the other range so frosted isn't bad if you don't have drx but i'm pretty sure all you're gonna do to get drx is just play da and you'll get the badge for it so on to the next one all right guys and deranged rex which is very possible this thing could get remodeled around halloween i don't know though i honestly I wouldn't mind if it didn't get remodeled because honestly, I feel like it still holds up. I mean, minus those hands, those those hands are kind of struggling. But besides that, honestly, this thing kind of holds up right now, in my opinion. Uh, but I do hold out for hopefully more Halloween stuff being remodeled in the future besides Psychoceratops. Uh, but anyways, let's get into it. Well, yikes. All right, let me just move up to like, okay. So it's only like, yeah, it's only like one, yeah, only like one step difference. All right, now we do side boxing. Yep. Okay. Deranged Rex. All right. Let's see how. Let's see how bad. How many steps it takes. Let's see how bad it is. Yeah. Okay. That was like three or four steps right there. So as cool as Deranged Rex is, um, there's a reason why you don't see these things around anymore because they are not good. These guys had their heyday with Frosted Rex around 2019. Um, so if you want to see these guys. At their greatest, uh, you're going to need a time machine. But anyways, on to the next one. Now, on to one of the, probably one of the most hated skins in the game. Um, GFR. And I remember when this thing came out for like, it was like 2.2k uh, DNA. And man, these things were expensive. You could get like 2G barrels for this at a time. There, there was a good time there where this thing was worth so much. And I profited so hard off of it. Because it went down and then it went way up and then it went straight back down everybody knew it was going straight back down but everyone wanted a profit uh but this thing is worth like literally nothing like you could probably get this thing for like <laughs> i don't know apex hothead maybe uh this thing was worth totem for a while but not really anymore such a strange skin uh but it's probably gonna be around the same range as fossils so prepared to not use it it's not even a flex at this point. Yikes. Alright. Yeah. I can already I can already see it's gonna be. Yeah. That looks like it might be a little bit better than fossil, maybe. But still really terrible. Alright, we'll do side boxing. Yep. As expected. dude the fossils are just not doing good today okay it was about right here yeah don't use gfr it's an ugly skin and it's bad so yeah throw it in the trash all right ladies and gentlemen and for one of the one of the, the classic boys we don't have the original classic but we have asphalt uh we got this guy was around for a pretty long time and i think the da rex is teasing us because it knows it knows how bad we're gonna be uh, but may maybe things will be different. All right, let's try it. Oh. 
Alright, I'm gonna have to move back then. I didn't expect that. Yep, okay. Now I'm gonna go until I can bite. Okay, so it's about right here. Again, it's only like two or three steps. So definitely not in the top tier for his skins for Rex. Sideboxing. Yeah, asphalt's kind of thin, so it's it's very possible that it could still be good. Yep, two steps. Alright. Asphalt isn't good. As much as a fun classic th as this thing is, you're probably not going to want to use it. The only time I'd ever use something like this, if I was feeling classic, was just using it while um, growing and when I can actually run away from people. Uh, but besides that, uh, don't use asphalt. Alright, guys. And now we have Ant Pain. I mean, um, we got Classic Rex, which is just an absolute wide man this guy is just the widest known thing known to man versus the a-rex i mean they're similar style uh but let's try it let's see how it goes i'll have to move when i bite this guy might actually give the a-rex a run for it okay just gonna eat my own words See how much it takes. One, two, three. Yikes! I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm eating my words hard this time. Yeah, that was like three. All right, side boxing. Yep. Okay. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. So it's one, two, three, uh-oh, four, five, okay, there we go, about about four or five steps right there, uh, so don't use this relic of a creature, you, I mean, you could probably scare off your enemies wearing this thing, uh, but I'm not so sure about being able to kill them, uh, anyways, on to the next one, alright, word on the street, is that this Rugrats looking Rex is the best. Uh, but I don't know. DA Rex has been showing up pretty much a lot. So let us know down in the comments who you think will win between these two. Because this is the moment of truth. This is who's the king right here. This is the last skin. Uh, you know, all the recolors are always the same. So let's see it. I don't have to move. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, you hit me too. All right, let me back up. Oh. Oh, oh, wait. Wait, don't bite. Okay, now bite. All right. So, let um, me move up a little bit to see. Okay, very minuscule range difference, but on base range... DA Rex wins this one. Now, the moment of truth is sideboxing, because I know most people out here who watch these videos are sideboxers. So, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. And V2 is pretty, pretty thin. So, DA might be struggling here. Suffering from being too thick. Oh. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Alright, let's see. Okay, so it's like one step difference. Bye, Megan. Yeah, it's, it's a one step difference. Maybe two. Alright. So... DA Rex wins. DA Rex wins. It's it's better than V2. It has been decided. DA Rex 
over V2. So uh, make sure to go play Dinosaur Arcade to get the DA Rex. Uh, but onto the hybrids. Now we have Pitch V3 in the left corner, and we got DA Rex in the right corner. I'm having a little bit of shouting match right here. Uh, let us know down in the comments who do you think is gonna be better. I honestly don't know. Pitch V3 is pretty pretty strong and pretty uh, pretty good at range. So we're gonna we're gonna see this. actually a little bit closer than I was expecting it to be. Bye, Megan. Okay, let me move back a little bit. I hit you. Alright, move up and bite me. Because DA Rex is better on base range. So it's only one step difference. But I'm telling you, that one step difference can make the difference. Especially since Rex, uh, don't worry about these stats. It actually has 150. I just nerfed it just because it's messing me up. Uh, let's go sideboxing. Okay, so Pitch V3 has a better side box. All right, let's see, let's see how long it takes me to get over there. It'll probably only be like one step. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're going to fight a Rex with a with an Albino Terror, make sure to side box it. Uh, Terror does have a little bit more health. How much damage does Terror do? One. Oh, and Terror has a, a little bit more damage. Rex is at 150, Terror is at 165. So if you're gonna, you can probably beat a Rex with Terror, but you got you gotta, you gotta be careful because Rex Rex can mess you up probably. They know what they're doing. Uh, anyways, on to the next hybrid. All right, guys, and it has brought, been brought to my attention that Apex Hothead is the best Megavore, and let me just tell you right now, these are the reanimations by uh, Norsel. And I gotta tell you, this is this is some pretty insane stuff right here. Like you, you even saw that idol right there, right? The bite. He's got a little tail whack, and sometimes it bites with its mouth. Uh, look at that idol though. That's insane. And then let me just give it the AOE treatment real quick. I'll give you guys from this angle. That's terrifying. That is horrifying. Uh, I will say the walk speed is a little bit off, uh, which I think Norris already commented that she's going to fix that, that the walk speed's supposed to be a little bit different. Uh, and the sprint animation, just to show you guys this, gets on all fours and then stands back up. Uh, insane. Anyways, back to the Rex Meta Mysteries. I just had a comment on it because how insane it is. Uh, man, this guy, this guy's, this guy's grooving. That's funny. All right. We'll see how we'll see how good it is. Okay, I gotta move back. I didn't think it was gonna be that good. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of a huge fan of that tail whack. Alright, bye Megan. Okay, you bit me a few seconds ago. Alright. The range difference is like very minuscule. Like, I can't hit you from here. Bite me. Yeah, they might be they might be on par with each other. So DA Rex and Apex Audit are on the same page. Alright, now sideboxing. 
Now, I think Apex might might actually win this just because of like it's like thin and long. Yep, Apex wins. All right, see see how long it takes you to hit me. Let me just get out of that animation loop. Yikes! That was like three steps. So if you're fi if you got to worry about a uh, a DA Rex, honestly, I would side box it with Apex. That'll probably be your best choice because Apex can tank it a little bit more than Albino can. Uh, it's got about 200 more health. Uh, it can't swim, so be careful not trying to run away. But it's got 50 defense, which is insane. So Apex is definitely going to be the counter for DA Rex when you're fighting it. Anyways, on to the next hybrid. Alright guys, and genuinely, I don't know who's going to win this. I, I, I'm I kind of sad because I, I have a slight feeling that it's going to be Rex. Um, but you wouldn't want to fight a Rex with an AV either way. That's just not a good idea. But let's go ahead and get into it. Oh! Alright, move up till you can hit me. Okay, so that's like... It's like a baby step in difference, but that's that still makes me happy that Ripper can kind of outrange it. All right, let's try sideboxing. And Ripper's really thin, so Ripper might have the advantage here as well. Oh, yep, Ripper does. All right, move up until you can hit me. Yeah, it's going to just be like a one-step difference. Uh, so that tells me that Apex can probably range AV as well. Gary, you wouldn't want to fight an Apex with AV either way. Anyways, on to the next hybrid. Now we have D-Rex versus the illegitimate um, child of Skeela and Blameson's awesome creative mind. Again, sorry, Blame. Um, but there will be no love between me and Jellio ever. Even though it's really awesome. Uh, but let's see how it goes. And just if you guys haven't seen the Jellio episode, I make sure make sure to go check that one out. Because that will that will pretty much tell you exactly what you need to know about Jellio. Alright, move till you can hit me. I'm just going to let you know this is not going to go... Oh, well, actually, that did a little bit better than I thought it was. So it's only like a two-step difference. All right, now we're going to sidebox. Yeah, this is this is where Jellio struggles, especially in the water. If you, if Jellio's in the water, you can target its, uh, its little sickles since they go out a little bit more. And it gets sideboxed in the water much better than it does on land. Alright, so it's two-step again. Uh, so, DA Rex is pretty solid and could probably honestly beat a Jellio, in all honesty. Um, don't, don't try and fight Apex with Rex. I mean, you probably, you might be able to, but that's kind of risky because Rex only does like five more damage than Apex. Uh, but anyways, guys. Alright, guys. That's terrifying. Uh, that's all for this video today. Make sure to join the Dynawink Discord, the Unhashed Games Discord, and the Dynawink Roblox group so you can keep up to date with everything Dinosaur Incorporated and Unhashed Games. DA Rex is the best Rex skin. Um, and Apex beats DA Rex, you know, in rock, paper, scissors. Uh, but yeah, this one was a little unexpected, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!